All right, we're out here at SIG Academy and we've got some SIG instructors with us. We've got a vehicle set up. We're gonna to try to shoot strong hand only on this one. And dealing with strong hand only, getting the gun out is pretty simple, but now we're gonna to have to worry about doing our reloads as well. Contact! I got some extra training. You got a little bit extra on that. So first, I think the big thing, how did you feel getting out of the vehicle? I laid my weapon down on the seat. The reason I did that was because some of these vehicles, if I'm driving my truck, I feel very comfortable putting my weapon on the dash because it's got a big dash. I felt like I was leaving my weapon to do that, but I just, I did want to do it differently. And I'll tell you a lot of times when we do this, that's how I do it. Right, no, it didn't look any slower. I mean, it, looking at it, I mean, it's still safe because of course you're setting the gun down, it's aimed away. You're getting out in positive control, getting it and moving to the rear. So then you went to the rear, engaged that thread. Then from there, you went underneath and engaged and how did you put your uh, pistol? Did you do the angle? Yep, I laid the gun on the ground. I had the butt of the weapon on my ground. I shot left eye, right hand, and then I, that way I can super elevate if I need to. If it's a really low vehicle, I can thread the needle as well. I did that. I probably cheated a little bit getting up with my left arm, but uh, then I moved to the front of the vehicle. Well, sometimes you need a little assist going on there. <laughs> yeah. Right. So then one thing noticed you did different from everybody else is you used your knuckles and braced the, the pistol up against the car versus putting it over or by means of extending your arm on the hood and angling. So what I did there was I put my knuckles against the vehicle. I made sure that my barrel was clear. Of course, my sights are clear, but I didn't skip any rounds. Those rounds were already there, just so you know. They were there. But I pushed there. It also helps me with recoil control that way. If I shoot here, it's a little bit easier than if I shoot here, the gun will bounce a little bit more. Yeah, then your extra training came in down here because then you popped at a different position to shoot that guy. And of course, you shot in the pelvis because that's what you that's the biggest thing that you saw and were exposed to, but then you had a malfunction. And you wanna right. talk through that? Well, my plan was when I shot dry there, I knew I was getting close. And I thought if I shoot dry, I can't go back to my holster. I can't go between my knees. I'm down here, I'm gonna stay down here. I had the slide lock back, I reached the mag, and when I went to push it in, a round started to come up and the slide went forward. So I couldn't just do a tap rack, it wouldn't clear that malfunction. I let that fall out. I cycled on the tire, I just used my rear sight against the tire, and then I reloaded it, cycled it again, and got back in the fight. That's what's gonna happen to us out there if we get in a gunfight. Murphy's always there, so gotta fight through it, right? Oh, look good, staying All in right. the fight. <laughs>